So you've recently lost your husband and have to raise your kid on your own. A guy who works for your alarm company has started stalking you. And to top it all off, your sister is walking around with roadkill on her head. (laughs) (laughs) This is Stalked Within. I'm Jay Harang and I've wasted hours of my life watching terrible films. You should subscribe. This is Sarah and she's the main character. Hi. Her husband just died so her and her son Jalen have moved into a new house. This guy comes round to install a new security system. Almost done. Just need to mount the interior cameras. Interior what? They only activate if the alarm goes off. You get an alert if anyone ever enters your home with the alarm on. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Then we meet Gary. He's interviewed for a job at Safe House Home Security and he's been offered the role of command center operator. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Before Gary can start work, he needs to complete the training. There's a role play and Gary has to pretend he's seen an intruder at someone's house on their internal camera system. Safe House Home Security, identify yourself. Police are on the way. Leave the home now. Perfect. (laughs) Very impressive indeed. Yeah, he's absolutely nailed that. At break time, he meets Trina. She's worked at Safe House for ages. Seen it all, forgot it, and then seen it all again. And yes, she's awful. This guy Kevin comes in and burns some popcorn in the microwave. Sorry. Well, you should be. Excuse me? It's not that serious. Oh, no, it is that serious. Okay, just a little popcorn. People are selfish. My bad, dog. I'm not your dog. What is your problem, man? I think it's fair to say that Gary is unhinged. Yes. Cut to Sarah, who's dropping Jalen off at school. Sarah? Frank. In the flesh. I moved back here a few months ago with my son. Do you have a child here? A daughter, Zoe, but I also work here. Wait, what? It turns out that Frank used to be a big time hedge fund manager in the city. But I was miserable. So he moved back home to be an elementary school teacher, so he can finish work at 2.30. That would be wonderful. Sarah tells Frank that she's currently selling real estate, but she also wants to be a teacher. So that's something they've got in common. Yeah. Later that day, Sarah's at home working when safe house security identify yourself police have been called leave the home immediately so the internal cameras have paid off within 24 hours of installation ma'am are you okay i think so i'm gonna stay on the line with you until the police arrive okay just try and relax take a deep breath i'm not going anywhere my name's gary by the way I'll be right here. Thank you, Gary. Thank God for Gary. Money well spent. Right. Sarah's sister Kelsey comes over and she's like, Sarah, just get a gun. But the scriptwriter probably lives in California and doesn't like the idea of guns. So Sarah refuses and warns Kelsey and the audience about the dangers of gun ownership. Okay. Meanwhile, Gary is internet stalking Sarah and he's decided he's in love with her. An unspecified time later, Sarah gets a call from someone at Safe House Security's marketing department, asking her if she'd like to tell her story on their new TV commercial. She says no, but then she's told she'd get $10,000, so... Without Safe House, I might not be here right now. The director has a surprise for Sarah. This is Gary Myers. Wait, what? (laughs) It's so great to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm not sure why they're acting like their long-lost siblings separated at birth and reunited on a talk show. It was his job and she was a paying customer. Exactly. Anyway, after the filming, Gary approaches Sarah and tells her that he's secretly the VP of operations and is spending a month in each department undercover. (laughs) You don't really believe that, do you, man? That night, Gary's back on his laptop. This time, he's logging into Sarah's internal cameras. Although we don't see Gary knocking one out on the sofa, it's certainly implied. The next day, Sarah is having coffee with her sister and Gary bumps into her. Right. He tells her he's in the neighbourhood looking to buy a house with all the money he doesn't have because he's found out on Google that she sells houses. She gives him her card, so that's an excuse for Gary to contact her. Back at work, Gary is watching the commercial he did with Sarah on his phone. You sure like watching yourself with that pretty lady on the commercial, huh? Uh, later Gary meets Sarah to discuss the property he's never gonna buy. He says, yeah, I want a big house so I can settle down and start a family. She's like, oh good, I have lots of places like that. But before I move forward, I'll need to get your pre-qualification letter. Uh, Gary then goes to see his mum. This whole scene is pointless. It's just in there to tell us that Gary has a history of mistreating women. Uh Uh-huh. 
While Sarah is dropping Jalen off at soccer practice, she bumps into Frank. He asks her if she wants to come to a party with some of his friends. She has such a good time at the party, she agrees to go out with him again next Saturday. The next day, Sarah is showing a house and Gary just walks in. Wow, Sarah? Gary. He's like, I've decided you're not going to be my agent anymore, Sarah, because it's going to complicate things when we start a relationship. Excuse me? Gary, look. I would love to take you to dinner. See how it goes. I'm sorry. I can't. You can't. You just don't want to. When she gets home, she starts telling her sister Kelsey that she has a date with Frank. Fine ass Frank? Look at her head. What is that? That doesn't look good. Gary isn't happy because he's in the bathroom at work seeing and hearing all of this on his phone. Sarah, Sarah. When she goes out with Frank, Gary disables her alarm system, lets himself into her house, puts a keystroke logger on her laptop, and installs a secret camera in her bedroom. R relationships are a lot of work. Sarah's date with Frank ends early and she gets home while Gary is still there. But it's okay, because he waits till she's asleep and escapes unnoticed. The next day, he tries a different tactic. He sends her a message apologizing for making her feel uncomfortable the other day. But the damage has already been done. And he hears Sarah planning another date with Frank. <laughs> and here they are at the date. What is this? Compliments of the gentleman at the bar. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Who's that? You're about to find out. So Gary comes over and tells Frank how he put an offer in on a house and that it's a real shame that Sarah missed out on a massive commission. He's being really weird and after a number of hints, Gary finally leaves. Yeah, he's a little intense. A little. <laughs> Later, he logs into Sarah's cameras from his car and sees her and Frank kissing. Ooh, that can't be good. His next plan is to delete an entry in her diary reminding her to pick Jalen up from soccer practice. Instead, he turns up and tells Jalen and his friend how he used to be a pro. When Sarah does finally get there, she thinks she sees Gary walking off. He then bumps into them at the coffee shop, where it seems around half of this film is set. Yes. Jalen's like, Mum, this is the pro soccer player I told you about. Please go get in the car. You're following me. If you ever come near my son again, I'll take your ass down. Sarah decides to report this, so she calls Safe House Security. I need to file a complaint about one of your employees. What's the name of the employee? Gary Myers. Sorry you feel that way. I'll get to the bottom of it. I'll talk to him. My name's Sarah Green. The number is 592. You okay, got it. I'll look into this and I'll give you a call back. Thank you. Something tells me his supervisor isn't taking this seriously. Gary's back in Sarah's house now and he's going straight to plan C. He goes downstairs and waits in the basement until he sees the special wine kick in. When she falls asleep, he goes up to her room and here's where things start getting really creepy. Jalen can't wake Sarah, so he calls her family and they come round to see if she's okay. Back at safe house. Hey, Gary. You got a minute? Ooh, your ass in trouble. <laughs> so finally, Gary's going to be investigated. So I've spoken with HR about this. We've made a decision. No, he's not sacked. He's been promoted. Congratulations. You've been doing great work. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, when he gets back to his desk, Trina's keen to know what that was all about. Got your ass fired, huh? No, got promoted. Trina is livid because Gary's only been there for five minutes and she's been there for years. That evening, Gary's watching Sarah's cameras again and he hears her talking to Frank about a play they're going to this evening. Sarah's really excited about the play, but Frank won't be coming. <laughs> Meanwhile, Trina is doing some Googling of her own and has found out that Gary is full of shit. Oh, hell no. Sarah is pretty pissed off because Frank hasn't turned up for their date. This is ridiculous. That is until the next morning when she sees online that he's been hurt. Poor thing. Meet Donald. He's my favourite character, but that's probably because he has fewer lines than all the others. Yep. He's some sort of tech person at Safe House Security and he owes Trina a favour. Today, she's calling it in. Gary Myers? Something is up with his ass. His shit ain't straight. Look, I need you to see what he's been doing on company time. Please? Give me his email address. 
Back at Sarah's house, she's on the phone to her sister, telling her she's just been to the hospital to see Frank. While she was there, Gary made his way into her house, and he's now hiding under her bed. It's totally inappropriate. He leaves when she falls asleep, but not before blocking Frank's number on her phone. In the morning, Jalen's like, Mum, I heard something last night, and I'm pretty sure I saw someone walking past my door. You were just dreaming. I don't think so. Back at Safe House Security, Trina tells Gary it's her birthday, and she needs Gary's email address to send him an invitation. Smart. Frank has come home from hospital, and his neighbour comes by to tell him that one of his security cameras managed to get the guy's face who attacked him. Is this some sort of 90-minute advert for security cameras? Yes. Anyway, the neighbor's going to email Frank the footage so it can be sent to the police. Good work. Trina sees the photo of Frank's attacker the police have posted online, and she thinks it looks a bit like Gary. She also finds out from Donald that Gary hacked into Sarah's cameras, and that he's been turning her alarm system off at night. I think he's going in the house while she's there. He's a creep. So Trina passes this information on to Frank. Frank tries to call Sarah, but of course, he's been blocked. Trina and Donald go to their boss and tell him he needs to call Sarah and the police immediately. But he's like, no, I'll need to speak to management first. What an idiot! Trina tries to call Sarah directly, but she's not answering. Wow. You look beautiful. Whatever. Sarah. Oh. Try and relax. There's no need to get freaked out. Really? It's clear now that Gary is delusional. He's convinced himself that he lives there, and he's even made her a nice dinner. Okay. Sarah can see that he's not all there, so she starts playing along. This is so romantic. Now Gary wants to hug and smell her hair in the kitchen. What? I have a confession. Ever since the day we had coffee, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I can't fight this anymore. Then there's this fight. Trina and Donald have called the police and have managed to hack into Sarah's system. It's Trina Gary. Leave the house now. He looks into the camera and tells Trina he's coming for her next. <laughs> Look, the police are on their way, and we've unlocked all the doors. So the police have arrived, and Gary is arrested. At last. An unspecified time later, we see Frank and Sarah are together, and they've got Trina around for dinner. Yeah. We find out that Sarah got a massive settlement from Safe House Security. Good. Good. Trina notices the internal cameras have gone. And you know, we decided to go a more traditional home security route. Mm. Right, Zeus? They're just all so glad Gary's in jail, where he's still watching Sarah on his phone via the camera he installed earlier. Oh, I see. But it's okay, she's found it. <laughs> and that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.